So recently we got a very small snippet of audio pertaining to the finale of Attack on Titan. Getting audio like this is pretty big news. It makes fans of any sort of kind for Attack on Titan rejoice. It gives us a bit of insight on potentially what to expect towards the ending of the story. It does however also put in perspective that Attack on Titan is inching towards its conclusion. That realistically the story could come to a conclusion in around about a year's time even less. We don't have all too much time left with this story. This audio does a lot of things for us and when you go and listen to it one of the biggest things that you connect to with it is the atmosphere and the emotion that is just oozing within that audio. There is a lot here and considering it's surrounding what seems to be a very massive monumental moment within the story it's without a doubt that a lot of people are super excited to see how it all unravels. How every think comes to a conclusion how this monumental moment will be showcased in not only the manga format but also the anime format which will follow not long behind what will seemingly be the conclusion of the manga. The audio itself is extremely chilling, it's scary, it's layered with fear and emotion and you can feel the tension within it. Not even getting any sort of visuals with it, just hearing the audio, the amount of detail within it even of the low quality that it is considering it's recorded on a phone, there's still so much there. Genuine fear is very prevalent and if it is any sort of correlation to the event of the rumbling, which it seemingly could be, then we have a very big situation on our hands. I'm not sure if this audio was specifically created for an event within the manga or if they're going to use this audio within the anime as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's both. At this point, the marketing for not only the finale of the story but also the quote-unquote final season which is releasing next year is going hand in hand. It's extremely well done marketing. They're building the anticipation through the roof at this point. They're correlating the marketing for the finale of the story, the final chapters, with the beginning of the final season. So a lot of cross promotion, a lot of foreshadowing, a lot of leaked stuff, and it's doing an extremely good job. The audio itself leaves a lot to the imagination because there's no images, there's nothing to really go off in terms of visual preference. The only thing we can do is listen, and considering the audio quality and how ambiguous the audio is to begin with, there's a lot to kind of guess. The biggest factor within this audio is that it does seem that the rumbling is activated, meaning that the massive colossal titans within the walls of paradise themselves are coming alive. This is a specific event that has been teased for a very long time. It's something that Isayama has used not only as a powerhouse tactic, not only as a war tactic, not only as a threat to Mali, even to paradise paradise and even the world, but just the idea behind the rumbling has been so monumental in every single aspect. Just thinking about him not using it to its full potential is disheartening. So when we're in a bit of a limbo state in terms of, hey, is Isayama going to use the rumbling at any point in this story, I'm glad we have a bit of audio somewhat clarifying that it is potentially happening. With this rumbling, we get scream. We hear the walls crashing down, things being destroyed, the titans most likely coming alive. The the first portion of the audio is a lot of bass which is considered to be the rumbling mixed with screams. We don't really know the perception of this situation, we don't know who we're kind of witnessing this from, we don't know how we got to this point, but what we do know is that there's a lot of tension here. It doesn't take long to move over towards a vehicle of sorts. The general consensus is that this vehicle is either a train or a blimp. And I'd like to think that it's actually rather both. Like I said, I don't know what perspective we're seeing this from, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's different cuts throughout the whole scene. One scene we're on a train, and a specific amount of people are on the train, and then we cut to a blimp. There's a lot of sounds that correlate to actually each vehicle. There's a small section of audio that sounds like a train going over the tracks with that repetitive format that you hear. That style of train, which is dated for that era. But then you also hear something that seems similar to helicopter blades, which is the only thing I can call to being the blimp and potentially it's starting up and flying away. That there is either one or two vehicles in motion here. We then get a small portion of maneuver gear most likely connecting to that vehicle. Kind of put the rumbling with it. People are trying to escape. They're trying to get out of the area and these vehicles are being used to transport people. But where are our main cast? Now the final length of audio gives us a little bit more detail on somewhat what's going on. It uses a lot more descriptive sounds. The first thing obviously is someone saying a specific name. A lot of people think the word is Eren or Reiner or even Ymir to an extent, but it seems like the person saying
saying it is Armin. Unfortunately, the first time I heard this, I originally thought he was saying Aaron. That is to me what it sounded like. It's probably something that I wanted to hear, so the placebo effect kind of kicks in, and that's kind of how I interpret it. But the more I listened to it over time, the more Aaron started to change into Reiner, and then even Reiner started to change into Ymir, but more so how Historia says Ymir. And at that point, I was kind of confused. I was overanalyzing it and couldn't really put my thumb down on what this person was actually saying. The whole sequence of audio is extremely muffled. This is from Reddit's perspective. At least Armin's voice actor was confirmed to be saying Eren, which in the context of what's going on in the situation, it obviously makes a lot of sense. But still, the subjective nature is there. Is that person saying Eren? Is it saying Reiner? Ymir? Potentially something else? I'm not entirely sure. Is that even Armin to begin with? A lot of people think it could be Hanji or even Mikasa, but to me, I can only hear Armin at this point. I spent a bit of time with this specific length of audio for a couple of different reasons. The muffled sound specifically. Unfortunately, because of the quality of the recording, there is a lot of discrepancy with the audio itself. We don't know what's actually within the audio naturally in comparison to it being lost to the quality. Something could sound extremely muffled within recording, but the official and natural and raw audio could sound a lot more clear and have a lot more weight to it. But with that being said, the muffling does sound like it's there, but we're not entirely sure if it's because of something similar to that, it's because of the quality. However, if you do connect it in that sense, it does seem like there's somewhat gas releasing. Originally, I thought it was the maneuver gear gas, and considering the audio sequence kind of stems right after it, it somewhat made a bit of sense at the time. But now that I went back and listened to it, it does kind of sound like someone's releasing from a type. Then you start to kind of just draw the dots together to a certain extent and you get some sort of picture. The rumbling happens, you hear people screaming somewhat in the background, you have things crashing into one another, the, the walls pretty much crumbling at this point, you have a train and a blimp, one or the other or both, trying to escape with people using maneuver gear to get up to these vehicles, but then you have Armin potentially saying Aaron or at least yelling out to Aaron while he's on one of these vehicles already, after he's already activated the rumbling and he's coming out of his titan form and that is potentially what the gas sound is. Aaron coming out of his titan form being in this somewhat muffled state realistically not everything being coherent as of yet his vision's still blurry his hearing's all over the place but the rumbling has been activated and someone has called out to him. That pretty much covers the entirety of the audio. The biggest thing is that we don't really know the context for this. The rumbling being used is a massive pivotal moment. We don't know the after effects of the rumbling. We know the destruction, killing, the slaughter that it will cause, but we don't know what happens after. How does the story twist shape to fit a conclusion for the rumbling to be activated? Does Paradise get completely obliterated and destroyed? Does Marley get obliterated? Do they both get obliterated? Does the world potentially get obliterated? What pushed Aaron to use the rumbling at this point? An option that seemingly he's been trying to avoid for quite a bit of time, as the casualty of war and the casualty of the rumbling itself is a massive burden to hold. Activating this will for sure completely obliterate your enemies, but at the same time, you're also killing innocent people. On Aaron's behalf, that's already been a thing, and it seems like he doesn't want to add to it, but something's obviously pushing him to activate it. Does this rumbling even leave paradise? Is there a way for Aaron to activate the rumbling, but at the same time obliterate them completely? Could he get the Titans to fight each other? Could he destroy everything in his path with such accurate control. There is so much here within this audio, what it reveals to us potentially. There's nothing saying that it could be the rumbling, but with how the story is going at this point, with the constant mention of the rumbling, uh, as well as the train track and the blimps being used at the moment within the manga, it's without a doubt that something along these lines will have to take place. I don't think Isayama can go through the entirety of the story without actually activating the rumbling. It's something that he's used over and over again for many different occasions. I'm more interested to see on why Aaron activates it. Is it a final decision? Is it something that he was always going to do? Does he have something else up his sleeve? Could the rumbling be used in a way that is different from our perspective? Something that we don't know about. Aaron using the Founding Titan in a way that hasn't been done before. Without a doubt, this audio is chilling. It's scary, it's emotional, it's atmospheric, it holds a lot of weight towards it. Whatever happens regarding the ending of the story, 
I think a lot of people are very excited for, whether it's extremely sad, whether it's really emotional, whether a lot of people die, whether one person dies, you know it's going to go down in somewhat history at this point. It's going to leave behind a legacy. So with that being said, that is basically it. Let me know what you guys think about the audio. Do you have your own theories about it? And if you do, let me know. But I'm actually going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.